today what we're going to do is we're just going to do a real quick review of our sine, cosine, and tangent uh, ratios. Remember that the sine, cosine, and tangent are the ratios of the sides that relate to an angle. And it's the only way that we can do that. Pythagorean's theorem only relates sides to sides. So this way we can go back and forth. We can find angles from sides and we can find sides from angles. So we're just going to use our basic SOHCAHTOA and we're going to set up those ratios. So that's the basic foundation for this. Remember, um, SO stands for the sine of an angle equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Cosine stands, or CO stands for the so cosine of an angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And TOA stands for the tangent of an angle equals opposite over adjacent. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to identify your angle. So I'm going to circle that angle. It might have a question mark. It might have an X. In this case, it has the theta. Um, it's just a variable, a symbol that represents a missing angle. And from that theta, I'm going to label my side. The hypotenuse is always, always, always across from the 90-degree angle. So identify your 90-degree angle. Across from that is the hypotenuse. It's also the longest side of a triangle. Across from the angle that's in question is your opposite side. And then the side that adjoins to your angle, connects to your angle, that is the adjacent. So make sure that you can label those and get those correct. Also, make sure you're labeling them. If you skip that step, you're going to make a careless mistake somewhere at some point, and it's just not worth the careless mistake. It didn't take me that long to do this. All right, so I'm going to start with sine. I know that my sine ratio is going to be the opposite side over the hypotenuse, so I'm going to come over here. The opposite is 5. The hypotenuse is 13. So the ratio is going to be 5. Thirteenths, and that fraction does not reduce, but if it did reduce, I would want to reduce it for my final answer. All right, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm going to come over here, identify my adjacent is 12, and my hypotenuse is 13. So 12 thirteenths, and I'm going to make sure that that is reduced, and it is, it's in simplest form. Tangent, TOA, is opposite over adjacent. So I come over here, I identify my opposite side is 5. My adjacent side is 12. So it's going to be 5 over 12. And that is reduced. So now I have all three of my trig ratios set up. If I wanted to find the measure of this angle theta, I could use the inverse of any one of these three. They're all going to give me about the same angle. And since we're rounding to the nearest whole number when we're finding degrees, they're going to give me the same angle after it's rounded. So if I wanted to find this angle, I could just do the sine inverse. Remember, that's how we always find the angle when the angle's in question. So I'm going to use a sine inverse and 5 thirteenths in my calculator, and I would get that angle measure. So I could go further with this. All right, I hope this helps and that you're taking good notes and using this and asking questions that you have.